Hello and welcome to our next demonstration. Today we are going to do a reverse engineering of this part which is a plastic scan toy and uh, we will be using the, our mesh to surface quad surface. Before we start just make sure we have the latest version. Uh, quad surface is a part of the premium package of mesh to surface so you must have installed and you must have a version which is higher from 5.1.2.3 at the time you're watching probably there will be the version 6 already on the market so the way we start is again we just go and uh, call mesh to surface and it sets the, um, the mesh into a separate layer for ease of use this is the main window and uh, this is our part the way we will start to do this is by using the quad surface and I will just initiate this by uh, calling this surface uh, the mesh is automatically set to transparent mode you can put it in offset mode or draw the mesh as a transparent please refer to the documentation for more details so the way we start to do is just by drawing on the, on the mesh make sure that the snap mode is on and I will just go and simply add a single face which is on four corners now I will just start building my object simply by moving the mouse over the edge I want to duplicate and I see this D sign which will help me to duplicate this edge. You can always do this by holding ALT key highlight the edge and move it but for simplicity and easy of use at the moment I will just use the duplication handle and this is how I do it. I just move it easily around and this is my initial steps. How I will continue I'll just grab this one and put it here drag and drop it will snap to the mesh and I'll just get this you see it when you move it snaps the point so you can easily construct your shape now the other trick which you can do is by double click on an edge it actually selects the whole chain and then when you duplicate it duplicates the whole chain and I move it around and you can adjust always a little bit the shapes double click it's here and one last step here is by duplicating this and you can come and adjust the points they snap to the mesh I'll put it on top view I'm a bit and I'll continue now I'll just come and drag and drop this I'll drop this and I'll just move this and if you see when I highlight on the edge it just say merge the two edges and I got this shape here which is perfectly fine at any point you may want to see how the object looks like. If you press space button it just gives you a shaded mode only of the surface. And I will continue now to wrap around put it here. Here we may want to increase the resolution I just do this we continue snapping the points and here we simply just snap this part now it's uh, the surface connects here as a three point I can do the same here and I continue building if you select an edge and if you hold out to duplicate but if you hold control it will just use the tangency to when you duplicate the edge 
take this edge of around and this is how you we close the object of this probably a good idea is here so I have a four-sided hole and this will be closed I can either select all the holes and press close four-sided hole so automatically it's closed so I'm nearly there I will take this and put it here now when we have a three-sided it's not possible so I have to come here right click and split this edge it created a new chain so now we have a four points which can be closed as I showed you it closed but you can take this duplicate and move it to the next and now I can select with double click most of them and hold control out and it will duplicate this and you can repair the hole here I will take this, put it in the middle, so I can form a four-sided hole here and I can take this one, put it here and this is my fish now if we want we can take a look of the quality how much, how good it is to the surface so if I press it's a 0.2 millimeter I can see my deviation and I can start improving I will come here and press S to split this edge and I come here right click split S is the shortcut and come here and press S and I get close to the desired result you can always if you want to improve you can smooth the mesh by selecting smooth and it will improve the quality what else now we can do is just if the resolution is not enough you can always come press the more button and then you can press increase the resolution and it doubles the resolution and snaps all to the surface So we build this object now, and but let me show you the other easier way of doing this. I'll just delete this. Actually, I'll delete all the surfaces we created, and we start from scratch. So this is our object, and I'll just go again to quote surface. But this time, I will just come here plus sign, and I will call auto surface. Now the software asks me how well I want to generate the surface from. This is, shows you the number of faces we are trying to create and I'll just press preview. And this is my result, which of course is not good enough. I can try medium. Let's take a look. Maybe I'm okay. I can always come and see the res perfectly. So the medium resolution is fine. Or I can always come turn this off. I can always come and adjust how many uh, faces we are trying to build. Well, for this demo let's leave it as it is now and then I press accept and my object is done. I haven't done anything. The object is ready and it can be used. Thank you for watching.